Well, he was known as the Raytown Romeo, a scam artist who twice pled guilty to charming unsuspecting women out of thousands of dollars. Now one woman says he's back to his old tricks. New at 10 and only on 41 Action News, Garrett Haig shares her story. Garrett? You could call it a game of kiss and steal as Ryan Blevins raked in cash from his victims over several years and then got caught twice. On probation now, he appeared to have cleaned up his act, but tonight one woman is speaking out to say he's at it again. Ryan Blevins made a powerful first impression on this woman we'll call Jane when they met back in 2008. Very charming, very polite. Uh, he knows exactly the right things to say. Now she's asked us to disguise her identity so she can speak without fear about the man she once thought she was dating. Jane told us she knew of Levin's past when two years ago he first asked her for a loan, $400 to help cover his daughter's preschool. Did that set off any alarm bells for you? Not really because I trusted him. He said he would pay me back. And I, I kept waiting, and he never did. The requests kept coming. A few hundred here for rent, hundreds more there for daycare, more than a thousand for new electronics, most of it in cash, meticulously documented. Did he ever pay a cent of it back? No. Not a dime? Not a dime. Last month, Jane had enough, cut him off, and called police. I thought he had changed and that he wouldn't go back to his old ways. But he has. This wouldn't be the first time Blevins was accused of what's known as a Romeo scam. I thought we were dating. In 2009, Melanie Baker said Blevins conned her out of more than $5,000. He pleaded guilty and received probation. Before that, he served time in federal prison for defrauding more than 20 Metro women. In the 2004 case, you know, it became very apparent uh, that he had to actually find a new girlfriend about every three days to keep the scheme going. Now, Jane has advice for anyone who Blevins might reach out to next turn and run the other way blue springs police have assigned a detective to look into these latest allegations and reached tonight by phone blevins told 41 action news he hadn't done anything wrong and then hung up reporting live garrett hake 41 action news